Losing a cat to death is a heartbreaking experience. As pet owners, we know that it's something we will eventually have to endure. Cat ownership is a grand adventure, and death is the final page of that adventure. However, for as painful as losing a cat can be, there is another pain that is perhaps in some respects much worse. Clouded many times in the unknown, which can often be more difficult to deal with than the known fact of death, a missing cat can be a crippling blow. Your cat is with you one moment, seemingly gone the next, and potentially never to return. There's nothing quite like that anxiety, that fear, and that pain. In today's video, I'll tackle a very difficult subject, a topic with many factors involved. Why do so many cats go missing? Stay tuned. When talking about a subject so very sensitive, it's important to pause for a moment, take a step back, and just look at the big picture. Cats, they are everywhere. Pull into any apartment complex, subdivision, neighborhood, anywhere families reside. Just hang around for 20 minutes. There'll be a high probability that you'll see a cat just walking around. This is common, and we certainly know this to be true, but this seemingly harmless visual, let's call it, is arguably the foundation for this entire topic. Cats are everywhere. I guess we just sort of learn to accept it. I mean, if dogs were just roaming around neighborhoods and the like, in the same prolific way that felines do, someone would likely be on the phone with the authorities. I mean, imagine stray dogs just walking all around. That would be a huge problem. And when it comes to the topic of felines gone missing, one of the primary reasons why so many cats go missing is simply due to the fact there are indeed so many cats and so many cats naturally outdoors. At the heart of it all, the reasons why so many cats do go missing in terms of number is because of opportunity. A lot of wonderful felines, family pets, they're just allowed to spend some time outside each and every day roaming around the backyard, perhaps a casual stroll in the neighborhood. And unfortunately, this can naturally open the door for something bad to happen, even if the odds are in fact small. Now that we've set the stage a bit with respect to frequency of the problem itself, a horrible nightmare for many cat owners, I'll now take a look at a few different reasons, more specific reasons, as to why cats go missing. With the assumption on the table that you already allow your cat to go outside each day, if only for a brief while, various instincts and in response to changes within the environment could prompt a cat to flee and ultimately go missing. Let's start with the hunting instinct. It's possible for your cat to get wrapped up in a hunt, stray a respectable distance from home, and then find themselves in harm's way, perhaps coming face to face with other animals. In an attempt to escape a threat, your pet could potentially enter a new and unfamiliar land of territory as a means to avoid that danger. This could unfortunately set the stage for additional threats. This includes other animals, people, the threat of high vehicle traffic zones. Depending on the layout of the area near your home and the outer areas, like so many concerns that I'm about to address, somewhat of a snowball effect could be created out of something seemingly so basic and so harmless. Similar to hunting, if your cat is not fixed and is on the prowl for a mate, your pet could leave your property and find themselves roaming new areas. Once again, it's certainly not uncommon for cats to go missing because they were forced out or perhaps willingly went beyond their territorial comfort zones. Many times external threats play a massive role. Your cat leaving to this extent wasn't the plan, but something happened, unfortunately, along the way. In addition to hunting and the search for a mate, curiosity, fear, as in the threat of attack from a predator hiding away from a predator, stress, the quest to claim new territory, pregnancy, looking for a spot to give birth, the addition of a second family, I talked about the second family here on the channel not too long ago, and sickness. Any and all of these reasons could cause your already outdoor roaming feline to go missing, either for hours, days, weeks, months. And with respect to the second family, just right quick, it's entirely possible that the other family has no idea that the cat they've taken in belongs to you. There's a safe bet that many quote-unquote missing cats across the globe are indeed missing because they are out of sight, now residing in the home of someone else. And while this is less likely as a permanent situation, let's say, when speaking about a neighborhood setting, it's possible for a missing cat to be in a neighbor's house for a few days 
before being sent back out the door, back into the world just a few days later. I will state it, and let's just make this 100% clear. Unless your cat has only been around with you in your home for a very short time, it is not common for a cat simply to wait for the nearest door to open and just bolt. Meaning it's not too common for cats to go missing on purpose, to flee on purpose, to willingly make the choice to leave home with the intent of never coming back. Does it happen? Sure. Is it why so many cats go missing and are missing at this very moment? No. Frankly, if that were the case, and cats were just known to bolt the first chance they get, feline ownership wouldn't be popular. I mean, who would want to own a cat if you knew their primary thought was looking for a way to escape? Talk about a handful. So just to make it very clear, the odds of a cat going missing simply because they want it out of their environment is not that common. The only way that could possibly happen in a notable fashion would involve a situation where a cat was living in a house of horrors, a home with nothing but abuse and neglect. Outside of that circumstance, most cats go missing due to external factors that transpire while already outside. Leaving with the intent to never come back is not common, especially with cats that have been in their current home for years and value that coveted safety and security. There is a difference between a house cat escaping your house out of sheer curiosity, and a cat escaping with the intent of never coming home. Unfortunately, there's an old expression about curiosity in cats, and I think you know what it is. And that, my friends, is always the fear any time a cat is outdoors, even if it's your grown adult cat who has been going outside every day for seven years. Sometimes that curiosity can place your cat in a bad spot. The world can be a jarring place to the senses, and what your cat sees, hears, smells, and even feels can take them to places they certainly wouldn't go otherwise. Additionally, when survival of the fittest is the name of the game, it could be easier for some cats to hunker down to avoid a threat than take that chance and make the walk back home. Just a quick personal story. Many years ago, my cats were allowed outside every day for some roaming time. Some days and nights were a bit trickier than others, but everyone came home safe and sound. However, that's not to say that stress and even that annoyance meter, that level, wasn't high at times. One night, one of my cats was in my backyard, probably 30 feet away from the back door, just right there, about to come inside. However, on the other side of the yard was a raccoon just sitting there. My cat made the 30-foot walk all the way to the door. As I opened the door, my cat turned and saw the raccoon, and instead of walking two feet forward inside the comfort of home, he turned and left the yard in an effort to hide from the raccoon. Basically, my cat went back to where he came from. This is just one example, a stressful one at that, as to how survival mode can sometimes actually work against a cat's best interest. Instead of coming inside, my cat went to hide outside. You want to talk about being caught up and getting somewhat pulled away from home, there you go. Some cats go missing because, frankly, they don't always do what's right for them. This is especially true when it comes to the threat of other animals. My cat would rather hide from the raccoon outside than come inside. Strange. As I close today, and this is certainly a loaded topic, so much to be covered. This video could easily be 30 minutes long, but if I were to summarize as to why many cats go missing, it's simply due to the fact that so many of the traits that make cats so great, that make them cute and funny, those traits can also place them in danger. And if your cat is allowed to roam outside, sometimes all it takes is a slight shift in the environment, whatever it is, and it could send your cat on an adventure they never expected to take. Some cats are incredibly independent, incredibly curious, and dangerously trusting of strangers. That is a beautiful trio when controlled, but if left free, those wonderful qualities could have some rather dire consequences. The only true way to make sure your cat is truly safe from the great outdoors and all of the possible threats is to keep your pet inside. No amount of recreation time in the fresh air is worth the negative consequences, even if those consequences are small. If you want your cat to experience your backyard, I recommend a leash. If you're concerned about living in that anxiety, that mystery, that fear, allow your cat to experience the outdoors, but in a controlled fashion. And by the way, I'm seeing cats on leashes now more than ever, so it has become quite popular, I'd say. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, if you have anything you'd like to add to this topic, please do so in the comments section below, and once again, this subject matter could be, have been taken in about a hundred different ways. So by all means, if you have any stories to share or positive tips that could help other cat owners, please let your voice be heard. And if you're watching this and 
you're in the midst of the uncertainty and anxiety surrounding your very own missing cat, just know that you are in my thoughts, and here's hoping that your pet makes it home very soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.